The second application of dimensional analysis is to derive a physical relation. Okay, this is the second uses of dimensional analysis to derive a physical relation. So now we shall derive a physical relation from a given problem. Okay, this is the problem. The problem is using the method of dimensions derive an expression for the centripetal force F acting on a particle of mass M moving with velocity V in a circle of radius R okay so here what we have is uh, force centripetal force okay so for we are going to derive force and uh, here we have mass and here we have velocity v and here we have radius three things so m v r so the first one is m the second one is v the third one is r so we are going to derive the relationship between m and m v r what will be the power will the power be m v 5 will the power is 2 or like something like this or it may be m by v uh, v r or like this so we are going to derive what will the exact equation equation for this the physical relation we are going to derive a physical relation now let's start um, solution so we have to write like this in words suppose that or uh, not right suppose okay suppose force centripetal force force f v, you can write acting on a particle also you can write but I shall write varies or depends upon varies as eight so this is important this is a power of the power of eight power of mass m varies as eight power of mass m so like that is okay that is you write like f is directly proportional to or depends upon or varies as a power of mass m m to the power a so equation one okay like this and next is also varies as beat power of velocity the second one is velocity whichever comes second you have to put it second so don't write a radius in the next okay so b will be uh, there is a bit power of velocity v that is f centripetal force is directly proportional to v to the power b so this is equation number 
true like this and also you can write also depends upon as b power depends upon like that now as a because I you I use varies as so I will I shall use varies as seed power the third word is seed power of what is the third one radius whichever comes third you put in the third hello anung nunga piang kati kaninda nung zel doni so radius seed power one two three is the third equation so you can see is m to the power power is a and b v r to the power c whichever come first you put in the first whichever comes uh, second from the questions okay from the questions you should put like this you can also write instead of various as depends upon depends upon beat power of velocity like this okay so now let's combine then combining the three equation we have f equal to or f directly proportional to m to the power a v to the power b r to the power c or f is equal to some constant k v b r c k m to the power a v to the power b r to the power c the kon lom ta mo hmm now we shall compare the left uh, dimensional formula for the left hand side and the right hand side okay and they and now we shall come and then after that we shall compare and the a b what is a b what is what is b what is c we're going to find out okay so this is the equation number four let's put equation number four this is the important equation which we are going to find out now we are just going to find out a b c and we'll put the value of a b c a b c value ho kan da ta nga kan mu cho nua chon chu chu a equation tur su equation thar tur chu ni ta ni no okay um now left hand side what is the left hand side dimensional formula f equal to mass into acceleration this is the dimensional formula for force okay dimensional for formula for force if you don't you can work it out if mass into acceleration m stands for uh, capital m mass and acceleration you know that distance by time square so it is like this so same okay and what about the right hand side right hand side is k m a v b r c right hand side no no need to take the constant so only here for mass we have capital m and its power is a for this velocity distance by time and it is b powers b and then the last one radius you see radius is measured in meter so it's c like this so let's combine the three a box three bracket break the bracket m okay m a there are no m in the other box and what about l so we have here in the second box L and the third box L so we have to combine okay a yeah, one so that means B one into B B and L C plus C for example if there is uh, here 2 C if there are 2 C that means you have to write here 2 C like this B L B plus 2 C okay but we don't have to no need to write so what about the third one t we only have here t minus 1 into b minus b so this is the 
equation a dimensional formula for the right hand side okay for the right hand side this right hand side mm, let's do in the next page dimensional formula for the right hand side so we have in the left hand side force dimensional formula like this and in the right hand side dimensional formula for k m a b b r to the power c we have dimensional formula m a l b plus c t minus b what we get in the last so we can compare now comparing 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 the dimensions dimensions of m l and t on both sides that means left hand side and the right hand side okay both side we get we get now compare okay these two here there is one that means a will the power of m here is m a only here one so we must write now we get a is equal to one now what about the next b plus c the power of l is b plus c b plus c means here is also one equal to one okay you must compare these two and what about it the third one the power of t the power of t the power of t minus b is equal to here is we have here minus two that means b equal to two we can sell out cancel this minus so b equal to two okay for example if we have here uh, um, m to the power two that means a will be equal to 2 okay if we have m to the power 2 it's like that if we have here l to the power 2 here b plus c will be 2 b plus c will be equal to 2 but now we have only 1 we have no 1 power so you must remember that it depends upon its power it depends upon its dimension so <coughs> we have here a equal to 1 and b equal to 2 but we don't have single c it is a combination one is a combination of b plus c how do we find d plus c that means b plus c equal to 1 and then we want to find a c and 1 minus b equal to 1 minus what is b value of value of b value of b here c equal to 1 minus b and equal to 1 1 minus put the value of b so equal to minus 1 also we get c equal to minus 1 so here we have a equal to 1 b equal to 2 c equal to minus 1 okay c equal to um, <coughs> sorry i i think i have made a mistake here um, let me check it out am i do i make a mistake b equal to two it's correct here a equal to one mm, b equal to two and c equal to minus one no it's correct okay okay this this is correct a equal to one b equal to two c equal to minus one so now it follows that a equal to 1 b equal to 2 c equal to minus 1 substituting okay substituting or put the value of a b c in the equation number or equation number 4 equation number 4 put the value of a b c in equation number 4 okay so substituting
substituting for a b and c in equation for we have what is equation for equation for is f equal to k m a v b r c isn't it this is equation four now we will put f equal to k m what is to the power a is one v b b to the power two what about a radius c is minus one so we can write like k m v square since r to the power minus one then you can put down here to the denominator like this r therefore the therefore the centripetal force is equal to uh, k m v square by r so we derive a physical equation this is a formula for centripetal force where k stands for constant okay so now it is it is very simple we what we do is <coughs> what we do is and first we look what are the variables involved uh, for this force and then mass is included and velocity is included and radius is included so um, then we we put in the equation f is directly proportional to ma like that v b a b c what whatever comes and the last then we put in the last okay then we combine the formula then now we try to find out a b c a b c can look zong le tani a b c zong le ngai ta a b c zong tur chun in order to find out we have to compare its dimensional formula so we for we find out the dimensional formula for in the first term the left hand side and again this uh, the next term in the right hand side and once we find out the dimensional formula for its term can zong ve ven it and then we just compare it this two this uh, just compare it this two term so a will be equal to what value b plus c or whatever it is will be what value like this we compare its power mlt Okay, it's dimension so it comes out to be a equal to 1 b equal to 2 and c equal to minus 1 so we put these three values a b c to the um, equation number 4 like this equation number 4 here is equation 4 so we put the value and it's come out to be like this mv squared by r so this is the uh, final equation so we derive a physical relation or a formula with the help of a dimension analysis from a given from a given question from a given question likewise a, another questions will be given okay and uh, there are lots of example uh, in your textbook there are many example in your textbook so you try to solve from your textbook okay it is very very simple mm, you go step by step so the uh, kind of step that then is you write in step and then you compare its dimensional formula and then find out ABC or whatever it is if there are four for example here if we have again another radius or whatever it's a distance or something like Omega or whatever it is then you have to include in the fourth power okay that means it will be c d d power of omega d omega d it will be like this if for example another tram comes till dang alo till any chon ka khan ji abel okay so in the last you can find out easily the new or uh, the the formula f equal to k m v square by r so it is very simple now you try for uh, 
different examples from your textbook or whatever uh, you can find that's all